Now, when we talk about mouthfeel, whether it's crispy, it's crunchy, it's gummy, it's melt in the mouth, it's so easy. We just write that in our blogs or our musings, but there is a lot of craft and art behind in the kitchen when that cook or that chef or that hawker puts out that plate to you and make you remember that texture. It is a fantastic craft, you know, don't go away, stay with me, I will show you the art. So Jason, you are the third generation of this dish. So it's from Akong, to your father, to my grandparents, to my father, to me. So why do you want to be a hawker? It is like a family duty. La. There's a certain magic and technique to this dish. What was the difficulty in learning this dish? The difficult part is blanching the noodles. Huh? Is there a timer in your head when you blanch the noodles? There's no timer in my just head. Just look. Yeah, just look at the noodles. My dad asked me to cook one bowl every day until it's past his standard. And then, yeah. yeah. Wow. Then can serve the customers. So the beauty of uh, this bar Tommy, when you pick it up with it, chopsticks and, and you see that El Dante noodle, the chili sauce that clings on to that noodle. And one bite of it calls for a little bit of all the other toppings that... Oh man, I'm home. It's just Teochew. So that was the art of the noodle. Now, I'm here now in the east and this next item, some say it's inspired by the Cornish pasty or even the Spanish empanada, but I'm looking at this lovely little snack. The, the texture, the crisp, the crumbliness, the butteriness, the spiciness, and the, I think I'll let Mr. Chan tell you about this. Curry puff, <笑>为什么你找那个复杂的咖喱包来做来卖呢就是人家跟不到吗真的很难做的这个不是这么容易哪一部分是最辛苦最辛苦是站在那边一直揉揉揉揉八个小时十个小时这个也要学蛮久的